the Catholic Church has a long history of rules and regulations regarding fasting and meat consumption. The first recorded instance of fasting in the Church dates back to the early 2nd century when Christians fasted for two days before Easter. Welcome to SD Case and Courses. Today we are learning about the history of the Catholic Church's rules on fasting and meat consumption. Over time, the rules surrounding fasting and meat consumption have evolved. For example, in the 1900s, those who had permission from the Holy See can eat meat on prohibited days, but only at their full meal. Everyone else could not eat meat at all on prohibited days. This rule was established in 1834 by the Sacred Penitentiaria. Additionally, in 1900, Christians who are released from fasting due to age, infirmity, or labor were also allowed to eat meat, provided it is allowed by a general indult of their bishop. These rules were shaped by the conditions of our age, as the Church is ever adapting to meet the best interests of her children. The Church recognizes that the obligation of fasting is rarely observed nowadays, but still emphasizes the importance of mortification and penance due to sin and its consequences. As the Council of Trent stated in 1545 to 1563, quote, no measure of leniency in this respect can eliminate the natural and divine positive law imposing mortification and penance on man on account of sin and its consequences." Unquote. In 1966, Pope Paul VI issued a new set of fasting rules that reduced the number of days on which fasting was required. The new rules required Catholics to fast on Ash Wednesday and Good Friday, and to abstain from meat on Ash Wednesday, Good Friday, and all Fridays during Lent. These rules were further revised in 1983 by Pope John Paul II, who allowed bishops to determine the specific days of abstinence and fasting for their dioceses. Today, Catholics are required to fast on Ash Wednesday and Good Friday, and to abstain from meat on Ash Wednesday, Good Friday, and all Fridays during Lent, unless their bishop has granted a dispensation. While fasting and meat consumption rules may seem strict, they serve as an important reminder of our spiritual obligations as Catholics. As we continue to evolve as a church, it is important to remember the roots of these rules and why they were put in place. And that is the history of the Catholic Church's rules on fasting and meat consumption in a nutshell. Thanks for learning with us. Until next time, may God bless you forever.